What we did see in these early days was the arrival of large numbers of Russian volunteers who joined the rebel ranks. The Russian volunteers were in any case individuals rather than units of the Russian army. I have found no credible evidence of the Russian army being directly involved in combat operations in Ukraine until mid-July of last year, at which point it seems likely that Russian artillery fired across the border at Ukrainian units who were surrounded south of Lugansk. This though was still cross-border activity and didn't involve Russian troops actually fighting on Ukrainian soil. That changed in mid-August. Around that time, Russian supplies of weapons and ammunition, which had previously been quite small, seemed to have increased substantially, and we have some fairly convincing evidence that units of the Russian army entered Ukraine in mid-August and helped inflict a major defeat on the Ukrainian army at the town of Ilovaisk. Since September, Russian supplies to the rebels have continued. The most important, as far as I can tell, is artillery ammunition. The rebels have been using far more of this than they could possibly have captured from Ukraine, at least until last week, uh, when they seemed to have captured an enormous amount of equipment at Debatsima. So this equipment must have come from Russia, or at least the artillery ammunition. It would also appear that some Russian soldiers are in Donbass as military advisors and helping to train the rebel armies. There are also suggestions that Russians are providing intelligence and electronic warfare. 